Hi, I'm Maddie. And I'm Harry. We're junior firefighter reporters. And we're at the fire station to ask some questions. Hi kids, I'm Neville and I'm a CFA member in Victoria. I volunteer at Selby Fire Brigade. What can I help you with today? Hi Neville, today we want to find out all about bushfires. How they start and how they spread. They're both great questions. Bushfires can be really scary and knowing how they start, how they spread, how to prepare for them and when to leave can help you all stay safe. Do bushfires only happen in the summer? Usually, but not always. In summer, the weather can be hotter and the air can be very dry. This means there's not a lot of water in it. This makes the plants, the trees, very dry and make them burn more easily. All fires need three things. Something to burn, like trees and grass, which we call fuel, air for the fire to breathe, and heat to keep the fire burning. So how do they start? Bushfires can start in a few different ways. Lightning from a storm can strike a tree and start a fire. People can cause fires too. If you're careless with fires, like leaving the campfire burning and not putting it out properly, this can cause a bushfire to start. Another way is when people use power tools and cause sparks on a hot, windy day. So how does a bushfire spread? One of the ways bushfires are spread is by strong hot winds. Fires spread in the direction the wind is blowing. If the wind changes, so does the fire. This is why bushfires are really unpredictable. Embers from the fire are burning leaves, twigs, pieces of bark. Embers can travel with the wind, even for kilometres, and start new fires. How fast do bushfires burn? Well, that depends on what's on fire. Twigs and leaves and grass burn really quickly and can get really hot. Trees and logs burn more slowly. They can still be burning hours after the bushfire has passed. Does it make a difference if there are hills? Yes, that does. When the fire burns uphill, it heats the fuel ahead of it, making it burn more easily. This makes the fire burn faster. When the fire burns downhill, it goes slower. The fire doesn't heat the fuel ahead of it, so it slows down. What are the important things we can do early to get ready for summer, now that we know how bushfires start and spread? There are four really important things you and your family can do to keep yourself safe from bushfires. First, before the summer even begins, you can make your home as safe as possible by keeping the outside area tidy and getting rid of anything lying around that might become fuel in a fire. Secondly, be really careful around fires. If you're camping, ask an adult to make sure the campfire is completely out and remember, on total fire ban days, no one is allowed to light a fire outside. Thirdly, your family should check the fire danger rating on the CFA website or the Vic Emergency app every day during the summer. Be prepared to leave your home for somewhere safe on days when the fire risk is extreme or catastrophic. And finally, be ready to follow your family's bushfire plan. This plan helps your family prepare for and know when to leave before the bushfire is nearby. And remember, don't go back home until you know it's safe. That's really helpful. CFA firefighters try to protect lives and property but never forget that keeping you and your family safe is always the most important thing. Thanks, Neville. Yeah, now we know how bushfires work, we'll be able to keep ourselves safe.